Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about a very important topic, tracking your activity on your smartphone, and this isn't specific to any specific apps. Generally speaking, when you use apps, when you search, unfortunately, even if you use incognito mode, your ISP, the internet service provider you're connected to, is tracking you. And I'll tell you that this is actually how it should be. No matter what you do, it's still going to happen. Let's figure out why this happens. Even if we try to protect our data, unfortunately, some of it ends up in the hands of our ISP, and some websites can obtain information, personal information, about your smartphone and how you use certain apps. I'll tell you and show you everything now. Be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. The point is, the internet itself isn't that simple. For us, of course, it all looks simple. For example, all the usual names of websites and apps like www.youtube.com, google.com, telegram.com, whatsapp.com, or it could just be the name of a store. When you go to Google Chrome and enter a search term, for example, I want to buy a phone, you get a lot of different websites. And each website has its own name. In fact, they are very simple and are usually named after the name of the store you're going to or the name of the website. But that's how we see it, and it's convenient for us. But in reality, a very complex system called DNS is used. This is the domain name system. So, we see a name like youtube.com, but in reality, it's all converted into IP addresses and simply a set of numbers like 142 this, 250 that, 150 that, 46, and so on. And all these numbers are first sent to the ISP, that is, your internet provider. And then they're converted, and the system understands where exactly you want to go, what region you're from, where your phone is located, what specific app settings you have, and so on. So, there can be many such settings. And, accordingly, no matter which website you visit, some websites will try to extract all this information from you on their own. So, there are trusted websites, and there are untrusted websites, but some information will still be transmitted. So, in fact, all this needs to be configured so that it's safe to use all websites and generally use your personal data safely, so as not to share it with others. This can actually be configured in the app settings and in the search settings. There are general settings that apply to absolutely all smartphones. I recommend you watch my previous video on this topic, where I set up specific settings for the entire smartphone. But now we'll talk specifically about search queries that we enter to find information in browsers. Again, it doesn't matter which browser you use, because each browser has specific settings it uses to look for this information. I'll use Google Chrome as an example, but if you use a different browser, you can configure these settings in the same way. To do this, go to the browser itself and find the three dots at the top. Click on them. Then scroll down and find the standard settings. Click on them. Then scroll down and find the line called Privacy and Security. Click on it. Then scroll down some more and find Use a Secure DNS Server. Click on this. Many users will simply have this setting set to Automatic, while some users may have this setting completely disabled. This isn't very good, because when this setting is disabled or in automatic mode, it will only use DNS servers that are beneficial to all manufacturers. So, what do I mean? For example, do you think that if you visit a website, it's beneficial for the manufacturer to collect information about how you used it, what you entered, and what search queries you used, so they can then send you ads? Of course, it is, because each application and each manufacturer sets their own DNS servers. And on an automatic level, of course, this isn't to your advantage. Granted, not in all cases, but it's still not a very good setting. Having it completely disabled isn't very good either. So, let's check it here. But keep in mind that there's also a setting to select a different provider. If we click on this setting, we'll also see our own option. We can enter a specific provider, that is, the URL of a provider we know. These could be DNS servers, which, by the way, I've shown in other videos before. You can take a look, and you can also enter something like AdWord, something like NextDNS, and the like. That's it. But if we click on the arrow on the right side, there will be a specific list. By the way, here's one of the names I just mentioned, and I've already shown Cloudfire in other videos. These are more or less decent DNS servers that work very quickly and are considered some of the fastest currently available. But, of course, these are debatable. You just need to verify all this with the numbers. To the human eye, it's practically imperceptible, but some of them are highly praised. By the way, double check, many may have this client browsing family filter set up, which is mainly used for phones used by children. It removes a lot of different videos that shouldn't be shown to people under a certain age, and it also partially affects advertising. I personally use Google Public DNS. 
It's also a very similar DNS, practically equal to Cloudfire. In short, these are two very fast DNS services that work just fine. And you'll even see a big difference in that, firstly, pages will load faster when searching. Secondly, you'll be confident that your data isn't being stolen from your smartphone. Even if a website needs it, it will ask your permission. This usually happens when a pop-up appears somewhere above the website asking if it can use cookies. These cookies are the data you entered on the website or identify the pages you most frequently viewed. Of course, it's best not to agree to these pop-up messages, as you'll be plagued by ads from these websites. These ads will continue to be sent to you even after you've completely exited the app, or even your smartphone. The website will still send you notifications, such as, you were interested in this or that product, but we've postponed it for you, or notifications that you haven't completed your purchase, or, you were interested in this or that product, but it's now available, or, you were interested in this or that product, but there's a better alternative. Basically, I can think of thousands of ways these messages are sent. Here. Well, I think you've encountered them too. Well, you can try choosing one of these DNS services. I'll say that, in principle, they're all good, just each in its own way. Try working with these DNS services specifically, feel the difference. But even if you're not satisfied, you can go into these same settings at any time and reset everything back to how it was. That is, disable it, set it to automatic, or disable it completely. Just remember when you first log in here whether you had it set to automatic or completely disabled, so you can revert the settings later. If you still don't like it, but I will say that I've been using this for a very long time and don't even change anything. Everything works very quickly, everything opens just fine. If any data is requested, again, nothing gets accessed without my permission. And of course, I also advise you to review all your devices and configure them so that your privacy, your digital privacy, is at its highest level, and you don't transfer any important data that could lead to loss, such as passwords, or the loss of certain accounts, or perhaps any personal information that shouldn't have been transferred anywhere from your smartphone. Configuring security on all your phones is always a great way to improve your smartphone's performance and ensure you feel safe and secure, knowing your personal data stays on your phone and nowhere else. Plus, if your phone starts working better after these settings, drains the battery less, and uses less internet data, then you're making your phone several times better than before. So, of course, it's better to spend a little time and configure your phone the way you need it. I think everyone found the video helpful. Be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Yeah.